I'm back with another video so uh, sorry it's been so long because uh, we have been working on this dog slide all day long I mean for since the last few days last few weeks we have been working on this now it's finally in its working stage as you can see here uh, this is how uh, a bit is gonna look like once we get it fully working uh, to assemble dog slide is very very simple you just need a rail MGN this is MGN 9H but maybe we are trying to see if we get some supplies from vendors I mean some sponsors from vendors for this development we can try to test with a MGN 9C or MGN 7 uh, if you use smaller rails so the distance you need about 200 mm but you can have a shorter rails if you use a smaller rail so this is 250 mm mg uh, nine rails so we can have them shorter so that your your extrusion no need to be so high and it's running on rails and just one motor that's it oh yeah and also for the gearing system oops hit my hand <laughs> for the gearing system here we only need one bearing and one uh, shaft collar that's it so one bearing down here and one shaft collar the rest all are printed parts with the MGN 9 of course you need the dog, dog extrusion as well that's it and some hardware so we don't have belts we don't have idlers we don't have police and this is a two kilogram weight if you can see here it's uh yeah it's two kilogram weight that is the estimated weight of all my or all, all my five tool heads and dogs that i have weigh so estimated is about two kilo so this is the two kilo weight to simulate how it can actually uh, move the whole thing up and down so we have two motors down here two rails down here and the extrusion bar so you can see that the dog slide actually moved not all the way down to the gantry level it's only down here and once it's finalized it should move down to the gantry level so that the uh, tool change can take place but why i set it to this level now is because if i put it all the way down it will hit my uh, end stop switch down here so i just set it to this position first in its deploy position it is at this position first once it's finalized then i will shift my end stop switch uh, further back so that the extrusion can fully deploy down then the tool change can take place so this movement is just to simulate how the tool change will happen so let's say we are printing down here so it will go to the approach position the dock will go down dog slide will deploy the tool change will happen and then dog slide move back up the tool goes back to printing so that is how uh, the routine is for a tool change using dog slide and also right now is it's just it's inaccurate the position everything is inaccurate because I don't want to change my tool head right now to have the dock in front now it's facing the back so in the future we're going to shift everything to the front so even the even the tool head will be moved to the front so right now it's still at the back so it might seem weird but uh, once everything is uh, correctly moved to the front you can see that that's how it's going to work so the speed for the dock uh, this is I think I had 100 I think 120 or I can't remember we we have yet to play around with the speed up and down everything especially with the weight uh, to maybe we can also increase the current of the motor if it's not strong enough but right now it's running about 100 uh, iterations of looping just to test the reliability of uh, the movement everything the tool chains so right now all the wirings are still messed up not not fixed yet i've yet to fix everything once everything is really fine then we can finalize uh, and release some uh, demo videos i have to shift all the docks to the front of the tool heads to the front make the cabling 
and order a panel behind for the umbilical as well so this is just a quick video as well to update on the current uh, progress of dog slide uh, it, it seems to be working and it's very simple to implement as well on your printer oh yeah and also you need two and stop one down here and also one down here so this is just so that the stepper can get its position and we did the homing that's also the dog slide homing so right now what's next is we're going to finalize on the clipper part of the dog slide and the routine we're going to make as the as the carriage approach the the dog will deploy as well together so that the carriage don't have to wait for the dog to deploy so that they move in sync and also when the when the tool has changed once the carriage is going back to its approach position the dog also can park so we will tweak the clipper side of it more we will do some more uh, safe wire everything uh, so that it doesn't deploy when you have carriage in the in uh, below the below the dog slide because if you have carriage below the dog slide the dog will crash so we will implement the safe wire as well so there's a lot more tweaks going on because uh, before we can really finalize everything and if you have any questions about this uh, you can just join us in discord and post your questions there you can post them in this uh, youtube video and yeah see you guys again in another video all right